Hey everybody, welcome back. So I never knew this before, but y'all are kind of petty. And I'm here for it. I'm gonna be reacting to your comments today cause uh, switch things up a bit. Let's do something new. Projection versus accountability said, my petty story. Husband left me pregnant with three kids for his assistant. <laughs> I don't know why that's in quotations. I boxed up some of his important family stuff and took it to their office. Things his grandpa gave him that I would have felt guilty over tossing. It was a Friday, so they wouldn't be there till Monday. I put dirty diapers in one of the boxes before closing them with a tape. I'm sure his stuff smelled lovely when he eventually opened it. So you didn't feel bad about making them smell like doo-doo, but you did feel bad about keeping them. Totally reasonable. By the way, petty merch, I just saw the mock-ups. It's, it's cute as hell. I'm so excited to show you guys. We got some petty bucket hats. We got some petty sweaters. We got some petty crop tops. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I'm actually gonna wear these things all the time. I'm stoked. My favorite petty story was the woman who lost her house to the cheating husband, so she ate a shrimp cocktail and left the remains in the curtain rods. Oh yeah, they're hollow. Months go by, the husband and his mistress do everything to get the scent out, but nothing works. Finally, they sell the home to the wife for really cheap because no one will buy the stinky house. And then when they moved, they took the curtain rods with them. Oh! So the stink followed them. told this story from a friend whose friend from work found out her husband at the time was doing the horizontal tango with another woman. Ooh, horizontal tango. So whilst he was away on some sort of trip, she had all his suits, legs and sleeve tailored to around two inches shorter and hung them all back up. So they looked absolutely fine until he put them on. I bet he was like, Did I gain weight? Ah, <laughs> oh God, I swear, you guys are so funny. I'm losing it. I love how petty you are. No wonder you like my petty videos. Y'all are petty. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm serious. I actually love it. I'm not judging any of you. It's funny as hell. Mummy Hobbit said, the most petty. I was with this guy for seven years, married for two, when he got cold feet and decided he didn't want the relationship anymore. We just bought a house a few months before and had been trying to get pregnant for a year. Then one night I had a friend visiting. He just left. Went to his mom's like a coward and left me worried and panicking for hours before I called his mom. Hadn't done this as not to worry her. She was a <coughs> the phone and hung up on me. Minutes later, I got a text from my husband to take the cats and get the frick out. So that pretty much ended the marriage. I emptied the house the next day with help from wonderful friends. I paid for just about everything, but left him a frying pan in the kitchen and an air mattress to sleep on. Oh, and all the debt to the house. I never looked back and never regretted a thing. <coughs> I thought this is what you wanted. Be careful what you wish for. My petty revenge story. This was seven years ago. I dated an older guy who still had a waterbed. Who has a waterbed? What is this, the 70s? <laughs> Watch 10 people be like, I have a waterbed, Charlie. Don't be mean with people with waterbeds. They're so comfy. I'm gonna take a pin. I'm gonna stab it. <laughs> There's a garbage truck outside. Taking out the trash. This was several years ago. I dated an older guy who still had a waterbed. He did this weird brag about he had slept with X number of women in the waterbed, but no other man had ever slept in his waterbed. So while I was getting my stuff out of his place while he was not there, I had several male friends come over and we staged several pics all in his waterbed. We didn't actually do the deed, but he didn't know that. When we poked hundreds of tiny holes in the bed, yes! Great minds! Petty minds think alike. <laughs> Every few days I would send him a picture of me and a different guy in his waterbed. He was convinced I was breaking into his place and having sex in his waterbed for like two months after I broke up with him. Not as petty, but still. Well done. I love how we were both like, I want to stab it. I want to poke it with needles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not crazy. I'm totally normal. I'm totally normal, guys. Shut up! Like, what do I do here? It actually won't shut up. I was married at 21. I know, dumb. My husband turned physically <laughs> and lied about everything. I got him drunk one night and shaved his head with dog grooming clippers while he was passed out. 
It was the worst looking haircut ever. I packed up most of my things and fled that night. It's been over 25 years ago that that happened. Jillian Bone. Naughty, naughty. Angie Meyer said, here's mine. He was leaving me, but decided since I wouldn't let him touch the washer and dryer anymore, he set the brand new washer my folks gave us on fire two weeks after moving in, so I wasn't letting him touch either unit after. But since I had to wash his clothes before I packed up and left, I could also fold and pack his clothes for him. I said, okay. The apartment we lived in had a spider cricket issue. It was old World War II military housing and not maintained the best. So they came creeping in like mad. We were both horribly arachnophobic. I told the guys who did the exterminating not to come until the week after he moved out. I got a jar and collected as many of those nasty little jump at you abominations as I could. Then I took the night off work on his laugh shift before moving. Each box had at least 10 of those things and they were very much alive! Ah! His mom called me laughing hysterically after the day he left. All I could hear was him screaming in the background. While mom, we are still friends 20 years later, wasn't thrilled with having the new visitors. She 100% thought it was the funniest shit ever and bowed to my superiority. We are not worthy of this pettiness. We love this. Angie, you outdid yourself, my love. <laughs> Lana said, a friend asked me how to make sure her exit was noticed after an awful breakup. I told her to remove every light bulb in the apartment when she left, including the one in the fridge. Oh, that's cold. Get it? It's harmless, but definitely annoying and petty. <laughs> Listen, we don't want to cause harm with our pettiness. We just want to prove a point. <laughs> like a petty, a petty sting, like a nice little sting. You know what I'm saying? Jacqueline said, my petty story. After leaving a seven-year-old toxic relationship with my ex-husband, I kind of left it with almost nothing. I just wanted to leave as fast as I could. So he didn't want to go for divorce, of course not. He didn't want to have any work on it. But I was carrying the whole marriage on my back and of course I had to do the whole divorce process by myself. Let me clarify where we are from, Brazil. And we got married there, but we live in Germany. So I had to come back to my country to do that. And he still didn't have to move a finger for that. Anyway. So for the Germany government, we are still married because when I came back from Brazil five years ago, I gave him a copy of all the documents and I told him to tell the Germany government that we are divorced so I could change my tax number. It was the only thing he had to do. Guess what he never did. So every year that I do my taxes, I still receive money from his salary and it's a lot of money. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh, so good, so good. And if he ever has a problem with it, just be like, I told you to do that. You didn't. My money now. <laughs> Finders keepers. Mindy said, I was in an abusive relationship for about two and a half years. He was mostly emotionally abusive, but sometimes physically. He had a bunch of guy friends that we hung out with all the time and they saw how he treated me. So when I finally worked up the courage to say enough is enough, his whole group of guy friends basically just dropped him. They became sort of my closet guy friends and would watch out for me and protect me whenever he tried to talk to me. I'm not sure if that's petty or not, but I loved it. The happiness that you feel for stealing his friends is petty. <laughs> and just, if I may say so. I'm gonna give you a little heart for that. Okay, nice little heart for you. Chris said, I was married for 21 years when my husband decided to leave for another woman. Long story short, I kept all of the DVDs and Blu-rays of all of his James Bond movies, Star Trek, Lord of the Rings, etc. Even those I bought specifically for him. I gave him nothing from our home except his clothing and personal items. I was like, if you're gonna live with your hoe, maybe she can provide all the stuff I bought over the years. I don't know if that was all that petty, but I felt better. <laughs> <laughs> No. But it brought a little bit of joy to my otherwise very dark day, as you have done to me, my dear. Like I'm literally laughing, like this, this is super funny. I, I, I love you guys. I love you guys so much. I, I could just picture us all laughing like little henchmen, like <laughs> Leave a like if you know where that's from. Hey, leave a like, subscribe if you, if you, if you, if you know where that's from. And also do that if you don't. <laughs> Pettiest. Pookie said, Pookie. Oh, I like your screen name, Pookie. <laughs> Pettiest moment I had after a breakup. I'd been with this girl for two years. We lived together. She cheated on me on a girl's weekend. Although all her girls came back and she stayed two days longer to cheat more. Luckily her friends were awesome and told me. Wow. 
Good for them. Two weeks after we broke up, there was a party in my house. A cute girl sat down to me at the end of the night and said, you were dating X, right? She said, yep, unfortunately. I said, yep, unfortunately. To which she replied, yeah, she really hates me. Gave her a look and just said, which for the record is generally not in my nature. You wanna go upstairs? And the rest is history. I still don't know that girl's name as her friend woke her up early in the morning and they left. I'd say I'm not proud of the one-nighter, but I am. Shared hatred brought us together for one night of fun. It helped my pain. <laughs> I love to laugh at the end. Oh my God. So funny. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys for all of this. We're gonna do a few more just because I'm just, I'm genuinely enjoying this so much. Do you guys wanna see more videos with your comments in them? I feel like there's, this is like a special topic, but yeah, let me know. I left an abusive relationship where he had also cheated on me and accused me of cheating. I owned almost everything. He only had a desk. I took almost everything with me. I left the mattress my cat had peed on so he could sleep on that. He called me a couple of weeks later and started rambling on about how he knew I'd already slept with two other men. He mentioned one of them, which was a friend of mine. I went to my friend and told him about the new rumor about us. After laughing, we got to talking. Why not? Why not? We ended up having a friends with benefits relationship for six months, thanks to my ex who was angry I left him. That is what you call karma, my friends. And Travis said, I turned my ex in for tax evasion. I found out he was still married to his wife in New England. So when we spoke, she asked if I had access to his work files. I said, does his briefcase count? So I spent a few hours going through the combinations on his briefcase, 619. I copied all of his contractor info and faxed it to his wife. She called New England's tax officials and gave them his info and current address. I received a letter from his ex during Christmas. Wow, this Christmas, eh? Oh yeah, sure. She was finally able to serve him papers in prison and get the divorce he denied her. And he received five years for tax evasion. I mean, at that point, you're really just doing a service to society. <laughs> you're just helping out your fellow man. Sam I am said, my friend's fiance cheated on her two weeks before their wedding and ended up taking the girl he cheated on with on the honeymoon. <gasps> My friend had heard a story about someone else's petty revenge and decided to do something similar. She cleared the house of all the stuff, lightly watered all the carpets, and then threw down grass seed, and then turned the heating up high and left. We later heard when he returned from the honeymoon, the grass was pretty high and the house was like a jungle. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the petty comes tonight. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the petty comes tonight. I can't hear you, buddy. Back me up. A wee. Being petty so funny. Subscribe.